Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in the state of Illinois. We're currently in the city of Chicago. Today we're going to be doing a driving tour of a neighborhood called Riverdale. It's 64 degrees outside right now. We're at the 200 block of South Indiana Ave. We're gonna make this left-hand turn on South Indiana Ave. We're about two minutes away from our desired start destination. We have a lot of vegetation on our left and on our right. There's a ton of debris too on the ground. There's not really much of a sidewalk. Look on my right hand side. The sidewalk looks like it is pretty much obsolete. It's overgrown with grass. On our left, there's a little bit of sidewalk left. Not much though. Got some potholes here, some rough roads. We're passing 132nd Street. We're at 132nd and Indiana Ave. It looks like there's an apartment uh, complex on our left-hand side, one of the low-rise apartments. I'm not sure if it's connected to the city's housing program. We just passed the Pangea Lake Apartments on our right. I don't know if this apartment complex on our left is connected to their housing authority or what, but or if it's a private entity. Like on my right, the Pangea Lake Apartments, visit www.rentpangea.com. In case you wanna to move to this neighborhood and those apartments, you can check them out. So we're about one minute away from our desired start destination. We have an abandoned house on my right hand side. Check it out. We're traveling relatively slow. We were doing 20, I just dumped it down to five miles an hour so y'all can see that abandoned on, on our right, the bando, abandoned house. <clears throat> we got key food and liquors on our left. We're passing 134th Street. We're at 134th and Indiana Ave. We're traveling up Indiana Ave. And we're about to go under this little uh, bridge awning. We're traveling over a bridge. Let me slow down. Ouch. Rough roads. This is the little Camu. How, how would you say this? Calumet. I'm sorry. I was going to say Cam Camumet. The Little Calumet River. We're passing 135th once again. That was 135th place. They use place and then they use street. Now we're passing 136th Street. We got Pace Connecting Communities on our right. Village of Riverdale, population 15,055 people. That's what the sign just said on my right. I'm gonna make a left though. We have cars behind me. Unfortunately, it seems like they're going to be making a left too. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a left and I'm going to pull over just to let them go by. We got Deshaun Enterprise on our right. Fly into the fitness. Wow, Deshaun Enterprise. It sounds like a young man named Deshaun and or gentleman wanted to turn that garage into a fitness business. But it looks closed. Doesn't look like there's much activity. All right, guys. So we are going to go around the block so that we can start this tour. I missed my turn because that vehicle was behind me, but this is giving you an idea. This is a little synopsis of the community. We got Ordained of God on our right. We got a Mack truck behind me, or it's actually a Peterbilt truck, but it's one of those big, gigantic trucks. Peterbilt is the name brand. Mack, Peterbilt, Volvo, those are some of the brands that make those giant 18-wheelers. Let's make this right-hand turn on 138th Street. We just came off of Layden, L-E-Y-D-E-N, Layden. Love thy neighbor. We got Resurrection Hope Baptist Church on our left. We're traveling about 18 miles an hour. I'm gonna make a right on South Indiana. We're at 138th in Indiana. Wow, guys, just my luck train tracks we're stuck here at the crossroads me me at the crossroads <laughs> bone thugs and harmony yo at at the very end of the road at the very very end of the road i see a sign that says riverdale oh bro don't you do that bro you playing with suicide all right oh i get it oh i get it they turn because we we ain't gotta cross this i'm about to do what they doing but let me let y'all see the train for a little bit before i actually do that they smart. It's because they from around here. Wow, look at that big locomotive. CSX. Visit www.csx.com. Let's go around this just like those guys did because we're not um, 
waiting to cross it we're actually gonna technically we probably shouldn't have done that but for the sake of time just so we don't spend the whole tour there because one time i waited for one of those strings to go by it took 11 minutes guys 11 minutes and i documented it 11 minutes i got out the vehicle and just watched it go by and i'm thinking it was gonna be like four or five minutes yo look at all this trash and debris over here Oh, let me be careful because I don't, I don't want to get a flat. There's there's probably like nails and all this stuff. This is a car wash, guys. But there's beds and there's all types of trash here. Look at this. I'm going to go up just a little bit. Just a little bit. There's a bottle on the ground. Look at all this. Oh, I just blew up a bottle or something. I just said it. There's bottles and everything. All right, that's all I'm going to show y'all. <laughs> I just ran over something that blew up. But, yo, this is a car wash. It's abandoned. There's sofas back there. There's all this trash. Yeah, that locomotive looked long, so good thing that we didn't sit there. Look, good thing we didn't have to sit there, because that would have been a different story if we would have had to sit there. It would have been like the SpongeBob time cards, 12 hours later. All right, so we're going to go forward, and we're going to make a right. Not this block, the next block. We got New Hope in Jesus Baptist Church on our right. All right, we're at Layden Ave. We're going to stop here. We got to go... Not the, this right coming up, but the next right. Not 136th place, but the one right after that. We're going to turn and just explore the little area. It's right next to the water. Remember? Little Calumet River. It's right next to it. It's a pretty big neighborhood, guys. The neighborhood's pretty big, and it's right next to the 94, Interstate 94. I'm from 95, where the 95 is at. It runs up and down the East Coast. But they're from the 94. But for some apparent reason. Oh, right here. Boom. 136. All right. We could start here at 136. 136 sounds fair. All right, guys. We're officially in the neighborhood of Riverdale. So Riverdale is one of the 77 officially named communities and is located on the far south side of Chicago, Illinois. The demographic breakdown as of the 2018 United States Census. We got an abandoned house on my left, guys. Wow, and another really beat up one on my right with the roof falling in. On my left-hand side, we got a sign that reads deaf for children. That means that there's deaf children that live in the neighborhood. Wow, another abandoned house on my right. Already, another abandoned house on my left, guys. Wow. Already. We just drove into the first block. and <laughs> We're at Forest Avenue, 136. Look, at there's an RV on my right. Dang. All right, so let's talk about another abandoned one coming up on my left-hand side, guys. I'm just pointing these out because you guys might not notice them. You might pay attention to me reading demographics and stuff and not notice these abandoned houses. Look, another one on my left. There's one boarded up on my right. The front windshield is boarded up, too. I said windshield. <laughs> the front window is boarded up, too. All right, we can go straight or we can make a left. Straight looks like a no outlet, so I'm going to make a left, but this looks like a questionable entrance, too. Calumet Ave. So as of 2018, there was 1.8% white. There was 95.3% black and or African American. There was 2.6% Hispanic, 0.3% Asian, and no percent, zero point zero percent other. This looks like an industrial uh, portion of the neighborhood back here, right? Yeah, I don't even think I want to travel any further. Yeah, these are fences right here. See these fences? See the fences? One fence on my left, and boom, there's another fence right here. It says "Do not enter." You see right there, my little left hand side. You see it? You see? It? I said my little left hand side, like I got a little left hand. But you see that little sign? Do not enter. So let's not go any further. This must be private property, just for the staff who works here. I'm not sure if it's a, what is it? General pallet. I was gonna say, I'm not sure if it's a scrap yard. It's a general pallet business. You know, the pallets, the skits, where they pack like, um, you know, snapples and juices and drinks and sodas and all that stuff. You use a forklift to lift up a pallet. All right, we're at Calumet, 136 in Calumet. I'm not gonna go left, cause that's a no outlet. So it looks like we're gonna have to continue going straight, guys. And then come right back out that block. We'll make a left and do the first sharp left. Uh, 
Uh, Pajo. Boom. Pajo. Got to be careful. Oh, we got a block on my right called Forest Ave. Can we go through Forest Ave? We're at 136 in Forest Ave. Yeah, and there's an abandoned house back here, too. This might be, again, one of those areas that connect to a private business. I see a bunch of yachts and boats. Wow, they got a business down here that holds yachts in this um, dilapidated neighborhood. Look at my left. It's abandoned. You see it? Yo. Somebody lives right here, too, on my right-hand side. Yeah, this is private property, so I'm not going to go through those gates. There's 135th place right here. I think I can make a left. Let me try to make a left. Yeah, you see that's that's private property. Rentner, rent, rentner, marine, established in 1941. Wow, boats, big old boats. I guess it's probably uh oh. There is a picture in somebody's window of a little boy, a little African American young gentleman, probably five years old, and it said, "Don't shoot. I want to grow up." Wow, that's powerful. Look at the mattress on my right-hand side. They dumped their mattresses back here. A lot of overgrown grass. That message was powerful. A little boy saying, don't shoot. I want to grow up. Man, that one hit hard. Because if you grow up in a metropolitan area that's filled with gun violence, then you know exactly what that message is insinuating. This back here looks um, damn near desolate. I think we're back on Indiana. We're going to make this left. Oh, Paho, Paho. Yeah, we're on Indiana, 135th place in Indiana. I'm going to make a left. I'm not going to make the first left. So I'm going to make this left, right? But I'm not going to make the first left because we just took that one. I'm going to make the second left. Old World Industries in front of us. We just passed it. Whoa, it looks like there used to be a gas station here. It's abandoned. We got to go through this, y'all. Yeah, gas stop. It's abandoned. We got to come through here. Check this out, guys. An abandoned gas station in the heart of a thriving city. Well, this is the south end, but still, it's a thriving city. And look at this. This this gas station right here just couldn't hang. Look at the sofas there. I wonder if somebody's living in there. The gas station's open. Look at the building. The building looks mangled. I got to snap a flick of this for the Tune B Chillin' Instagram account. Wow. Holy smokes. I just captured a picture, guys. I'm going to put that on the Toon Be Chillin', T-O-O-N-B-E-C-H-I-L-L-I-N Instagram account so y'all can see what that picture looks like. But you guys are watching visual right now. It looks like they set a car on fire here, too. Yeah, right here on my left. Because on the ground, there's a bunch of black debris and, like, charcoal. Oh, yeah, and then the um, headlights up top. Not the headlights. I keep naming things wrong in this tour. <laughs> The ceiling lights, the lamps that are on the awning of the gas station are melted. Wow. I didn't expect to see an abandoned gas station in one of these neighborhoods. The abandoned building on my right. So Riverdale has a lot of abandoned uh, properties. Uh, we already went through here. We already made a left through there. See the sign right here on my right hand side? It says a little teeny weeny sign. Village of Riverdale, 15,055 people. So they let you know the population as soon as you drive into it. Let's make this left right here. We're at 136 place. Now we didn't go through here yet. I already see a house for sale on my right. This house on my left looks in a lot better shape than so far 80 to 90% of what I saw here. You see the one on my left? The one on my right is for sale. You guys wanna know how much it's going for? Google this address. 22, is it? No, it's 211. 211, what we were on, 136 place? 211, uh, no, not 211, 221, I'm sorry. I do apologize. 221, 136th place, Riverdale. No, you don't put Riverdale. You put Chicago, Illinois. I'm sorry. My brain is all over the place. <laughs> 221, 136, Chicago, Illinois. Is there any notable residents from this area? I'm curious. I'm going to name some people. You tell me if anybody sounds familiar. Jason Avant. Lloyd Bond. Terry Cummins. Tim Hardaway. Scoop Jackson. Hazel M. Johnson. Priest 
Lauderdale, Cassie, Russell. That was it. That was the end of the list, guys. Look at this water tower right here in front of us. I'm going to have to make a U-turn because this is a no outlet. As you notice, a lot of these no outlets have a factory at the end of it. Like some type of warehousing situation, some, some type of, you know what I mean? How do you feel about living next to something like that? I wouldn't personally want to live next to some type of industrial complex. But, hey, a home is a home, right? Look at the address. Three, three, three. At least this gives me another chance to confirm the address. In case I gave y'all the wrong address. <laughs> so some of those people that I named um, were like professional football players, researchers, Another basketball player, another basketball player, sports journalist and author, uh, founder of People for Community Recovery and Mother Modern Day Environmental Justice, professional basketball player, and professional basketball player. Mostly, a lot of professional basketball players came from this neighborhood. That goes to show you, that's crazy, right? You come from a hood like this and you got a scholarship or whatever reason you get drafted and now you're in the NBA. And this is, you know, your humble beginnings. All right, so the house on my left-hand side. I'm going to show you it one more time. I know, I know. You guys don't care about the home. <laughs> They're like, Toon, we're not going to move there. Stop showing us this home. 221. <laughs> That's the address. 221. So let's find out the block. 221. Remember the number with me. How many of y'all do that when y'all try to remember the number? Y'all sing it. 221. 221. Can I get a 221? What? 221. Chicka, chicka, boom. Blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so it's 221 East, 136 Place, Chicago, Illinois. Boom. Booyah. Ta-da. <laughs> now now y'all got it. Y'all got it? You remember, remember? Y'all got it? Yo, I kind of want to go see that sign that I saw earlier that said Riverdale. Oh, man, road traffic at ra railroad close. Oh, no, I saw the sign, though. The sign was in eyes view. So let me see this sign real quick. I kind of want to show y'all that sign. And then we're going to come back over here on this end. Yo, all these businesses on my left are abandoned. Yo, and I'm talking about not only are they abandoned, but there's a bunch of junk in front of every business. Like, people just come here and just dump. Like, they think, oh, a mattress. I don't need it. Just throw it here. Nobody's going to notice. <laughs> it's a giant white ma Welcome to Dalton. What is that? There's a sign on my left that says, welcome to Dalton. I wonder if that's another neighborhood. Like, if you keep on going further down this way, you'll hit Dalton. Yeah, this is the sign that I saw from afar, so I do want to show it to you guys. Since we are in the Riverdale neighborhood, like, why not at least show you that sign? Then we'll probably work our way back over here somehow, some way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And where there's a way, hopefully there's a will. <laughs> All right. We got cars behind us, guys. I'm sorry. Safe Haven Child Care on our left. We're patching Michigan. We got Cook County Sheriff on our left. Shenkana or Shenkan Shen Shen what? Shekana. Shekana Chapel, whatever. <laughs> Tongue twister. Passing State Street. You see right here? Let me pull over because this Jeep is tailing me, boy. I know you're trying to save gas costs by cutting air, but sheesh, this is a tiny car. You ain't gonna cut much air. Oh, they did all that just to park up. It never fails. It never, ever, ever fails. People fly by me just to park up. Herman's Food Mart on our left. Check out that sign right there in front of us. You see it says Riverdale? You see it? It's on the railroad tracks. Right up top. Look up, look up, look up. Riverdale. That's cool. It fits the neighborhood, you know what I mean? All right. So now what we want to do, there's a park on my right-hand side. Got a gentleman on my right walking with some trash bags, passing LaSalle. I'm going to make a right here. Let's go around this park. This is Riverdale Park District. Perfect, man. Let's make this right. Wentworth. Yeah, it's perfect. Now, this side, I'll be completely honest with y'all. Right off the back, this side looks a lot better. <laughs> looks a lot better than, than the other side. I don't know if it's because of location, because of where it was placed. But at least y'all know River, Riverdale got a nice block or two and got probably a rough block or two. Yeah, these houses on my left look a lot better. We're traveling 14 miles an hour. Let me slow it down. Calumet, Cow Sag Trail. 
let's make this right. There's a sign that reads right, Dalton, 137th and Wentworth. Let's go right, because we kind of wanted to go back. Yeah, cool, we can pass over another underpass. That's neat. Take us right back without having to make a U-turn. That's cool. So, what type of educational buildings they got in the area? They got Aldridge Elementary School. They got Carver Military Academy High School. CICS Lloyd Bond, Du Bois Elementary School, and George Washington Carver Elementary School. We're passing Perry Ave, as in Tyler Perry. You got Mohawk Park on my left hand side. Mohawk Park. So the first non native settler in the area was David Perriam who, in 1837, claimed the land north of Horseshoe Bend in Calumet River in an area referred to as Wildwood. This land has later acquired, or I'm sorry, was later acquired by Colon or Colonel James H. Bowen, who was instrumental in the construction of the Calisad Canal connecting the Calumet River to the Illinois River. Careful. Passing Illinois, 137th in Illinois. Let me make a complete stop over here at the stop sign. After he lost his home in the Chicago Fire, Bowen moved to Wildwood and made this a palatial summer home where Chicago's elite gathered in the 1870s. What? Chicago's elite gathered here? Look it, there's an abandoned home on my left hand side. You see it? And to think, the elite gathered here. Wow. It's crazy how they said that he came here and he claimed the land. Like, I wish it was still like that, man. Like, remember? You remember, remember? Remember when we was kids way back when? We went back like car seats back in the, like, 1600s, back in 1673 when I used to walk the streets. You remember, remember? Man, I wish it was still like that. Where you could be like, this land is mine. And fence it up and it's mine. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but no, man, now you... If somebody doesn't own it, the city or the state or the government somehow owns it. Like, you can't just take over land like that anymore. That sucks. That, that'd that be nice, though. Because, you know, you know. I'd be able to, like, uh, you know, get my cool 100 acres. <laughs> and it's crazy because one thing that I learned about being here, through the history of a lot of these different neighborhoods... The Chicago fire affected, if not a handful, look at the abandoned on my right, affected, if not a handful or more of neighborhoods here, so much so that it caused a lot of different people to migrate from one side of the city to the other. Interesting, huh? All right, all right, all right. So, reminds me of Teeny. All right, all right, all right. All right, what shall I do? I'm going to go... I'm going to go right. I'm going to go right because we already went through here. But I'm going to go right and then I'm going to go left. I'm going to go all as far as I can go probably where it makes sense to go left to see if we can explore a little bit more of the neighborhoods. Oh, another early resident, George Dalton, settled near the Calumet River by Chicago Thornton Road, Road Company. Today's Indiana Avenue. He operated a chain ferry across the river. Hence why, around the corner, that little area is called Dalton. That's probably where that man lived at. See? Not only did you... Look at that house on my right. I like it. I like it. I like it. No, Damn, the Higgins Funeral Home is right on our right-hand side behind us. Um, can we make a left here? Priddle Works. I'm going to try to. Priddle Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Priddle Works right there in front of us. Established 1980. Furniture, cabinets, and more. Not only... We got an angry driver on our left with White Sox tags. Um, not only... Did you get to get free land and go, like, acquire land just because? Because you said so? The land got named after you, too. That's dope, man. That's decent. That's why I'm, like, like after traveling the country, like, listen, I'm going to be completely honest. So I'm going to keep it a bean. I'm going to keep it funky fresh, right? When I was a kid growing up, I never wanted a home. I don't know. I was always different. I didn't want to, like, graduate high school and go straight into home. I wanted to get, like, a warehouse, a factory, like, something dumb big. Let's make this right on Forest Ave. We're on 138th and Forest Ave. I wanted to get something, like, huge, like a warehouse. That was always been my dream, like a full city block in Philadelphia, those big warehouses that were abandoned. You know, I always liked it that. Like, since my teens to, like, my young adult years, it became more and more of a fascination. Like, I lusted 
I had intimate affection towards the thoughts of owning a warehouse. I wanted to go straight to a warehouse. I didn't want to get into a mortgage and finance, a town home, blah, she, blah, she, blah, she, blah, right? Boom, then reality kicked in and I learned it's gonna be a lot harder <laughs> to get a warehouse because there's a couple million dollars to get one of those warehouses, yet alone rehab, rehabilitation and all that. Look at another abandoned house on my left, right about here. Can I go left? Can I show y'all? Let's, yo, let's go back here. Worst case scenario, Japanese ninjas jump out at us with nunchucks and we got to throw our dukes up. But um, look at the band on, all right. But then after learning and driving across the country and experiencing the massive amounts of land and acreage that's available in our nation and our beautiful nation, I don't know. I kind of now am intrigued by owning a massive amount of land. I'm not looking forward to the taxes because <laughs> more land means more taxes. Look at this, y'all. I'm a bustle. You turned off because I really didn't want to continue going back here, but I did want to show you guys that abandoned house. So I'm going to like reverse, reverse, crisscross, up, down, left, right, R1, R2, R1, square, circle, circle, triangle, boom, cheat code, executed. But yeah, um, now my new fascination is like land. I want to acquire land. I think that'll be neat. Oh my gosh, it's a horrible pothole, all right? I think that'll be neat, guys. Like, you know, 50 acres or more, 60 acres or more, 100 acres or more. I saw some pieces of land for sale. Look at this, is the bando on my left, the one why I came here, why I went through here. Look at it, let me stop so y'all can see it. Yeah, man, you know, with, with 100 acres of land, you can not only, not only can you build a factory if, if, if you want and you're financially able to, Bro, you could build your own little town. You could build a city. Sis, you could build a city. Yo, you could build a, like, like a little miniature town, man. You could be the mayor, president, <laughs> the law of your own town. Listen, this is my town. I'm going to walk around with gats all on my waist. I'm going to walk around with a machine gun like I'm Rambo. <laughs> Call me baby Rambo. But yeah, yo, that will be neat. Like I said, the taxes is going to cost you an arm and a leg, but it'll be cool, man. Something different. Oh my gosh, we're at another railroad crossing, y'all. Yo, we dipped one to get stuck behind another. Oh, look at this is the abandoned house. I'm gonna make a U-turn. Y'all get to see the abandoned house? Boom, look at. We buy houses. It's abandoned. Oh, there's another one back there, abandoned. Boom. Precision property ho holdings. They probably bought that. Let's go this way. I see a giant, uh, what's that called? A bowling pin. We're at Lincoln Ave and Forest Ave. On my left hand side, you're gonna see a giant bowling pin. Check it out. I see the words are faded. It says bowl cocktails. We're going over some tracks right now. We got some tracks. You can look straight on my right hand side and you'll see the depth of field of train tracks. We got the bus on my left hand side, the pace bus. That's their public transportation. That's incredible though, right? We got Grace Temple Missionary Baptist Church on our left-hand side. Uh, and we're at 138th. Lincoln Avenue, 138th. Auction, August 19th. Opportunity Zone, 3.36 acres for sale on my right. You see? So if anybody's looking for acreage over here, look at it. Right there on my right-hand side. On 138th and Lincoln Ave. Oh, St. Mary Church. They're selling St. Mary Church? Yo, that's crazy. They're selling the church. What's the crime like in this neighborhood? This neighborhood receives an F rating based on areavibes.com. Total crime is 195% above the national average. Property crime is 128% above the national average. Key findings show that Riverdale is safer than 18% of the cities in Illinois. In Riverdale, you have a 1 in 15 chance of becoming a victim of crime. Violent crimes in Riverdale are 532% higher than the national average. Year over year, crime in Chicago has not changed. Now, Riverdale is a huge neighborhood. It's big. It's bigger than we saw today. And we're not going to be able to cover it all in one sitting. But I wanted to give you guys an idea so you guys can know this area existed. Feel free to explore this area more via the internet. And or if you live by here and you just want to come and take a drive. And you know what I mean? It looks like there's a lot of property for sale. And since it's run down, you might be able to cop property for the low. You know what I mean? You probably get some good deals around here. 